So, this is my H copter, um, which I'm gonna replace with my homemade tricopter. Um, I'll be making a series of uh, of homemade tricopters, and this is far too heavy. Uh, I'm getting very short flight times and a very hot battery. Um, this is just over uh, 2,200 kilograms, um, so I'm gonna replace this with a tricopter and I'll just be going through the uh, this the things I'm gonna use in my tricopter. Right, um, now onto the parts um, that I'm going to use for my tricopter build. Um, first of all I'm gonna be using the uh, the uh, Hextronic DT750 motors um, very popular multi-rotor motors um, with um, at first I'm going to start testing it with uh, 11 by 47 props um, but I've also got some 9 by 5 I think 9 by 5 props which I'm, I'm going to test it with as well depending on the the all of weight um, and I'm going to use the some Hobby King Blue series uh, 30 amp ESCs free because I've got free motors and um, I'm going to extend the battery wires here, and that goes to the battery, of course. Um, I'm gonna show, uh, be doing a video um, entirely on these ESCs and how to flash them. Um, so I'm going to do a video of of extending these wires and how to flash the ESCs. I'm going to flash them with some case firmware software for ESCs, which I'm going to use these, um, I believe it's called a socket flash tool or something like that, which plugs into a USB port on your computer and you can flash it with Simon Case firmware. And I'm going to use um, this Hobby King multi Wii Pro board um, with, uh, I believe it's a barometer, a uh, mag Netometer or a compass, a gyro, and accelerometer. There it was. Um, and the GPS, the um, supplied GPS module as well. So this got returned to home with it. Um, and it also supports the, uh, um, the a gimbal if you want to use a gimbal on it. I don't um, use a gimbal. So, also this, um, I'm going to use a Hobby King, or oh, sorry, this is not Hobby King, this is high tech. So I'll start with an H. So it's a high tech Optima 7 receiver. I'm going to use it with the um, with the um, high tech Ex Eclipse 7 Pro. Um, I believe that's all the electronics, oh sorry, a LiPo voltage alarm. I believe that's all the electronics and um, no, sorry, I need the battery. Yes, I'm going to to fly with 28 milliamp, 2800 milliamp batteries. I believe it's a 30C, 30C, yes. So these batteries I'm going to use. And then for the frame, um, I'm going to use, sorry, I'm going to three. I'm going to use these, which is, I believe it's plywood. Yeah, I believe it's plywood, and um, they are. Uh, it here. They are thirteen by ten millimeters, um, so not entirely square. But I needed. I thought the ten by ten looked too small, too, too, too willing to break. So uh, I need. I need upgraded to these instead. And for the center, I use, I'm going to use plexiglass, um, some two and a half millimeter, three millimeter, I can't remember, plexiglass. Um, if you don't know what plexiglass is, I believe it's the same as acrylic. Um, so that, yes, that's what I'm going to use it for. Um, I'm going to make a video on how to set up the, the multi Wii board, as well as flashing the C's and 
extending the ESC's wires and then I'm going to do the standard build videos which I also did on the Hobby King Hobby King uh, no, sorry not Hobby King the, the uh, quadcopter I built which mainly came from Hobby King it follows pretty much the uh, RC Explorers 2.5 2.6 build um, yeah but um, I've got a s small modifications to it, um, which you just saw with the, with the instead of 10 by 10 millimeter, I got 10 by 13 because I need a little more strength. Um, and but I'm using the same mechanism for turning um, as well as he do. And then the servo, well, servo. The servo is a 939 digital. Metal Gear Servo um, from Corona. It's got 2.5 kilograms of torque um, at 4.8 volts. So, yes, tiny, tiny little servo. Um, it was a lot cheaper and it, it delivers the, the needed torque to, to turn the motor. Um, I calculated and uh, this is because I didn't want to pay as much for the servo um, so I calculated and um, with these propellers 11 by 47 the maximum amount of thrust from the uh, motors were about I think it's uh, one, 1080 grams so a little over one kilogram of thrust and that needs at full thrust needs 1.8 kilograms turning um, with the with this turning mechanism. So therefore, I picked a 2.5 kilogram servo. So I got a little bit left um, just to not burn the servo. Um, so yeah, that's it. And uh, thank you for watching. The next videos that will come are build videos, and I'm going to start with building right after this video. So bye.